Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today um, I have got another beauty advent calendar unboxing and this is what we've got. Now I have had no idea about this calendar. I've not seen it anywhere um, and I've just nipped into my local boots and I saw it on display. So what this is, this is the We calendar 24 days of beauty and it is a charity advent calendar now it was 70 pounds it's half price currently in boots at 35 pounds so i will pop a link down below for you to get it and um, taking you straight to the page so you'll be able to take advantage of this offer now i'll tell you a little bit first of all what it says on the website about this calendar so it is a charity calendar um so it's empowered women empower women and it says that's why these amazing brands have come together to team up with we a charity that makes a real difference in the lives of women around the world two pounds from this sale of this advent calendar goes to we in support of the women empowerment programs in developing countries these programs um, partner with women to teach skills in financial literacy business and leadership helping women earn an income build their savings and lead changes in their communities whether you enjoy the gifts in this calendar yourself or share with a daughter sister or a friend know that your purchase has a lasting impact on the life of another woman across the globe um there's details about how you can find out more about the we um empowerment program so i will pop that down below as well so if you want to find out more about it then you can have a look there um so a little bit about we it says we is a family organization making doing good doable we charity empowers domestic and international change and me to we is a social enterprise that creates social conscious products and experiences that help support the charity internationally we charity works in eight developing countries partnering with partnering with communities through a sustainable model of international development and then more at we.org so yeah so there we go so there are lots of brands on here um on the cover which um we've heard of so obviously it's like jack wills number seven jewels soap and glory masked lizzle champneys mark hill so yeah 24 items as i say 35 pounds so let's get in and have a look so it opens up like this there we go so it is a metallic green and pink with some gold and um let's get straight in so number one is down here um oh so first item is um hand food um by soap and glory there we are and that is a 50 mils and it's non-greasy hydrating hand cream and um in original pink so that is a really nice day one so day number two is here so it's a long skinny one and it is what have we got so it is a masked um concealer brush so take this quickly out the packet i love purple so it's a really lovely lilac matte here and um metallic tip lovely little um head on the brush oh it feels really soft so i'm happy i always like getting brushes a lot of people do it, but i'm really happy to get one day three down here Oh, another tube. What's this? Good size products. So this is a 50 mils of Mark Hill Miraculous Nourishing Shampoo. So that's a really, really nice size. Um, if you're going away on holiday, that would be enough to see you through the week. Um, so um, it's got like essential oils of plant extracts to help hydrate and add moisture to dry damaged hair oh smells really really nice so there we go that's day number three day four over here oh 
Yay! So it is the matching conditioner. So another 50 mils of Mark Hill Miraculous Nourishing Conditioner. I really like this packaging. It's really nice. Um, day five. Oh, what is this? Ugh. This looks like so it's a 70 gram bath fizzer and it is by it says boots on the back um so a little um looks like a little egg a little bath fizzer is there anything on the back about that let me have a little quick look it is try and look as quickly as i can bear with me um oh it's a, um, by jules so yeah jules bath fizzer so yeah that's nice i like a little um little pamper session um day number six is up here just a little one what's this oh so um sexy mother pucker i think that's soap and glory isn't it that um makes that so a nice plumping gloss um really nice looking shade a nice nudie color there so that, that's um really nice it gives you a bit of a tingle and plumps up your lips so yeah fabulous um day seven up at the top and oh what's this it says well earned treat and it is um by Champneys and it is um summer dream rewarding a butter souffle so it is um a <laughs> warning this is not a food keep out of reach of children let's have a little look here oh looks like a lump of mozzarella cheese <laughs> um it feels really weird. It smells really nice. Let's add a bit on there. Oh, that feels lovely. So that'll make your skin lovely, soft and hydrated for the winter months. So, day number eight. Oh, now you see this, I do mind getting. This bothers me bit of a filler it is a nail file and um, so it's just a buffer so you can make your nails lovely so obviously you've got step one file the nail edge step two remove the ridges step three smooth the nail step four shine the nail so yeah whilst they're nice to have I'm not really sure if they've got a place in an advent calendar but it's there um day number nine back up here And uh, this is a nail polish um, by number seven, Gel Polish for Mills. And um, in the shade Porcini. So it's just a nice neutrally looking shade. Um, probably very wearable for most people. Um, number 10. Down at the bottom again. Oh, what's this? So this is by Jack Wills, um, and it is a body wash, and it's twenty five mils. Let's smell it. Oh, smells really fresh and clean. It smells beautiful. So I actually haven't had any Jack Wills products, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. Um, day 11. Oh, what's this? So we've got a Mark Hill Freeze Hold Hairspray. Um, there we go. It's a nice handy size just to pop in your bag. And that's 50 mils. And it is um, freeze technology. Cools hair after styling, providing extreme hold. Oh, it's a freeze hold hairspray. Not heard of those before, so um yeah. And again, it's like the nice 
sort of like metallic -y packaging like the um, shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, happy to try that. Day 12, so halfway through. And we've got um, Surf and Glory Smoothie Star Body Butter Cream, um, lightly whipped. There we go. And um, let's have a look. So 50 mils. Looks like so. Smells. Oh, what does that smell like? Let's try this. Oh, I love like body butters and creams. Just find them really nourishing. It smells like. Oh, I don't know, like something food, like cakey, like vanilla, ah, vanilla and coconut. That's what it is. So yeah, no wonder I thought it smelled like cakes. Um, day 13 over here. And this is, oh. ah, this says, I'm perfectly partnered for tomorrow's surprise. That's the, that's the first thing I've noticed on the doors. Um, and it is, this is a good clue. It is a Liz Earl muslin cloth. So it's a full size cloth. Um, should this be an individual door? I'm not sure, but it is and I don't mind. So yeah, a, a muslin cloth by Liz Earl. So I'm kind of guessing that I already know what's going to be in day 14. Day 14. Um, and it is, as expected, a Liz uh, um, Cleanse and Polish, 30 mils. I'm currently using one of this at the moment that I got from one of the other boxes. And I really do like it. Um, and it just says, yeah, use me with the pure cotton cloth you received yesterday, just in case you were unsure. Um, day 15. Oh, another Soap and Glory product. And this is a, where are we? Butter yourself up. After showering or bathing, smooth onto damp skin and massage until it all sinks in. So it is um, the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. And here we go. Ooh. Uh, these just feel so jellyish, but like blancmange. Again, I've not had Soap and Glory products. Um, oh, that's nice. Really fresh again. Quite florally. So yeah, I'm really, really happy to get that. And what day was that? Was that 15? So day 16. Over here. And we've got... Looks like a pair of tweezers. Let me just get them out. Um, there we go. So it's some limey tweezers from Masked. Is that Masked or Masked D? I'd say Masked. And um, yeah, just some, like an essential item again. Quite unusual shape. So, I mean, yeah, it's always handy to have a new pair of tweezers. So it's all right. Um, day 17, here we go, and this is oh, Pillow Plump, Serp and Glory, another sexy mother pucker, um, so this is obviously just like a, I don't know, is it like a little lip plumper, just like a little lip gloss maybe, pop a little bit out and have a look. It does tell you all the information on the back of the box about all the individual items and ingredients in them. So yeah, it looks like a clear gloss. Don't think you can see that there. But it um, feels quite sticky. But if you can either add it onto your own lipstick or just wear it by itself. Um, day 18 is here. I mean, I have to say that these doors are open really easily. They're very well perforated. And this is, looks like a mascara. Oh, it's slipping away from me. Come back. 
is a number seven lash impact intense volume control mascara so it's just a sample size it looks about half a size how much weight is in this it'd probably be about a three or four gram i'm not sure let's have a look at the brush so it is a big fat bristle wand there we go so you should get loads of volume with that one the 19 oh it's a big one over here oh i didn't expect to see this i don't think i've seen this in any boxes um an eyelash curler so to be honest i bought one years and years and years ago and so actually i am a little bit pleased to get this because i could probably do with a new one my other one's probably really rubbish so yeah there we go um day 20 right down here at the bottom and it looks like another champney's product 50 mils of um a little pick me up citrus blush enlivening shower gel so there we go a nice size again um to get a good idea if you like the product or not and to take away with you and the smell oh that smells really really lovely um what's in this just the scent of citrus lemons orange and a touch of cardamom not cardamom it says cardamom um so it's also got um hydrogenated jojoba oil beads so there we are so hopefully we should be uh, lovely and soft after using that day 21 final countdown it's christmas week guys okay so we've got a um makeup sponge and this is by who's the sponge by it is um a masked face tools the blending sponge i'm guessing what that one is um i've not had one of these ones this particular brand before it feels very firm um but it may soften up once wet day 22 over here and oh, quite a big bottle what's this so another soap and glory body spray okay and that is 45 mils let's have a little squirt does it say anything on there no just a body spray Let's see, pop a bit up here. Um, yeah, it's just quite, just pleasant. It, not overpowering, but it'll just sort of freshen you up and make you smell clean. <laughs> um, day 23, so second to last day. And we have got Jack Will's body lotion. So this is five i noticed earlier on the body wash was number four so i wonder if it's like got a um a number system let me know if you know and this is 25 mils body lotion let's have a little little bit so it's it's like it is like a lotion as it says um feels fairly rich not too thin smells nice so yeah there we go for that one and our final day day 24 it oh this is a big one it is a number seven protect and perfect advanced eye cream and that is 25 mils so that's a really good size um i'm really pleased with that because normally i think I've had some before. In fact, I've got one here. I'll show you what size we normally get. I got this in another calendar in my um, Boots number 7 calendar. And that is the size I got in there. So you can see it is a really, really good size eye cream. So, yeah, day 24. So, that's the calendar. I hope you have enjoyed it. 
I just think it's got a really good message behind it and I think it's really important that women are, are empowered and are given the opportunity to um, improve themselves and help the community around them. Um, it says on here that the value of the calendar is £85. So it has cost me um, 35 so that's good value for money and I will use all the products so um, for me it was really really worth it and um, I have popped a link as I say down below and in the pinned comments of where you can purchase it if that's what you want to do and it is currently half price at 35 pounds so um, yeah there we go I hope you've enjoyed it I have got two other advent calendar um, unboxings, the L and the number 7. So what I will do, I will um, put up a link here and here. Um, so you can just click on that if you want to go and watch those. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. So give me a thumbs up if you have. Remember, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've got it or which advent calendars you've got this year and which ones you're really enjoying. And um, yeah, take care for now, guys. And see you all again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.